hello all welcome to our channel way to know so way to know as you know is a electronics content channel which is having 1500 plus videos and we are helping electronics engineers worldwide to gain knowledge on electronics so in this video um, we are going to talk about uh, the cs32 v003 microcontroller features of uh, cs32 v 0 microcontroller and then uh, we'll also talk about the interfaces so uh, we'll talk about the architecture and uh, other details in the upcoming videos let us start so cs32 v 0 is a risk 5 based uh, core based microcontroller so risk v based microcontroller uh, is different from the actual ARM uh, controllers that we see in the market. So RISC um, processors are right now um, generally intended for uh, the low level applications in the market and we have a video on uh, RISC versus ARM in our channel. You can have a look at it. Uh, and the CS32V003 is basically a 32 um, bit microcontroller and uh, this has maximum operating frequency up to 48 megahertz and as we said the instruction set will be completely different from um, the arm uh, processors as this is a risk 5 based uh, processor and uh, um, this actually follows uh, rv32 ec instruction set so we'll we'll talk about a little uh, in the upcoming videos about this instruction set and then the CS32 um, uh, is basically a, a microcontroller, we talked, right? So microcontrollers are available in different variants, right? What do you mean by variants? Um, they vary in um, the flash memory that is available or they vary in the number of pins that are there. They vary in the features or the interfaces that are there and also the packages um, <coughs> in the um, packages in which the, the chip is available. Now, if you see this table, you can see um, CS32V003 and post that we have um, different uh, manufacturing part number, which actually um, shows the differences between uh, various features. Like example, if you take CS32V003 F4P6, which we are going to talk about in, um, in future videos. It has a flash memory of 16 KB, SRAM of 2 KB, and uh, <coughs> the total uh, pin count is 20, and uh, you have general purpose save of 18, and uh, you have timers, you have watchdog, uh, you have ADC, SPA, USART, and I2C. So all the um, generic microcontroller features that are there um, in a ARM microcontrollers are also available here. So that means if you are a beginner and you want to uh, understand this risk based, uh, risk five based um, processor based microcontrollers um, and you need not worry too much because if you have exposure to ARM based microcontrollers you should be able to work on these as well except that at the low level, there will be a difference and then the tools that are used will be different. So, um, the, the variants are very straightforward to understand here, right? And then when we talk about the electrical characteristics of this microcontroller, um, the uh, this chip CS32V003 is available uh, in the supply range of 2.7 to 5.5. That means um, it covers both 3.3 volts as well as 5 volt requirement is 1.8 volt, which is a, um, a low supply voltage based uh, operation is not covered in these uh, risk five based um, <coughs> risk five processor based microcontrollers. So uh, that is one thing which uh, we can see. And also we know most of the microcontrollers that we have in the market are either predominantly 3.3 or 5 volts. So a combination of 3.3 and 5 volts we find very less in the market. Right. Mm -hmm. um, coming to the low power modes. See, the ultimately uh, the most important point 
uh, which uh, most of the users these days uh, are worried about are the uh, power consumptions. So if we see uh, the low power states of CS32 V003, it supports both the sleep as well as the standby, which is a very, very um, uh, good specification and then we'll in the coming videos we'll see what are the actual sleep currents what are the actual standby currents we'll try to keep the chip in those states and try to um, uh, see uh, how much we are able to achieve with respect to data sheet and another important uh, interface in this particular uh, <coughs> microcontroller or any microcontroller is the debug interface so many supports jtag many supports a serial wire debug um, or uh, some support single pin interface for programming so different kinds of interface will be there right so this uh, cs32 v003 supports uh, um, single wire debug interface and uh, there, there are specific programmers that are there we'll show you those programmers and how to program uh, in the upcoming videos and then um, uh, compared to the normal microcontrollers uh, um, in controllers uh, we have several pins multiplexed with features right uh, and uh, what we do is uh, we will select the particular feature in the software uh, or configure the pin in the software to use for that particular functionality like for example um, we will have a gpio uh, by default for a particular pin uh, and but that particular pin might also support uart or whatever as per the pin muxing that is there for the particular chip so this is also similar here um, where the pin <coughs> multiplexing uh, is uh, present in cs32 v00 that means uh, within a small count of this particular microcontroller we have um, a varied functionality and uh, if we go to the, um, yeah, the variant section you can see here there are several interfaces that are supported SPI, I2C, UART, ADC and uh, we also have GPIOs, uh, uh, we also have programming interfaces apart from that we have supply pins, we have ground pin, we have reset pins so um, all these pins have to be included within the uh, count, um, very minimal count of that microcontroller that means there is multiplex requirement definitely and uh, so uh, as we said uh, as like the other microcontrollers available in the market um, this also has so if you see overall uh, basically um, the interfaces wise the variance wise uh, the pin muxing functionality wise and all um, while RISC-V microcontroller uh, name looks uh, very new to the guys uh, we actually have uh, similar features compared to whatever we have in the uh, other microcontrollers that are present in the market so <clears throat> Ultimately, uh, if you have worked on a microcontroller, uh, it's uh, very easy uh, to transition to these microcontrollers and uh, use the tools and configure the chip as per your requirement.